Hello doctors and FMG aspirants. Myself Dr. Sasi. I cleared my FMG in Jan 2023 with a score of 238. And I completed my NEET PG with a rank of 1401 in 2024. With my experience and expertise in NB pattern of examination, today I am with you with must know and most important topics for your upcoming FMG examination. Next subject it is the orthopedics. In orthopedics there will be same 5 to 7 questions will be asked and if you read these topics you will get this 7 topics sometimes but most of the times you will get this 5 questions for sure from this topics fine. What are the topics? You should know this benign and malignant lesions of the bone and you should know how to differentiate one from other okay that's it okay. You should know this classification of fracture which is what which is this Salter and Harris classification and you should also know the fractures of arm like supracondylar fracture lateral condyle of humerus fracture and also you should know this other fractures the special fractures like Collis fracture smith fractures and Barron fracture okay don't forget these fractures and two dislocations shoulder and hip joint both anterior and posterior dislocation of shoulder and hip joint you should know and finally you should know about this joint disorders like rheumatoid arthritis osteoarthritis and ankylosing spondylitis you should know how to diagnose them and you should know how to differentiate one from each other Fine. And finally, the last page of orthopedics, it is what it is the gout and pseudo gout. How will you be able to differentiate from the clinical picture and also from the x-ray findings? And in pediatric orthopedics, we should know these three diseases: developmental dysplasia, CTV, and Perthes disease. And this disease, this can be asked from three subjects: radiology, pediatrics, and orthopedics, scurvy and rickets. It is the must-do topic because they will give these x-ray findings and they will ask these clinical features from it even. So or else they will give these clinical features and they will ask you what is the diagnosis from it. So you should must do this scurvy and rickets for sure. And recently the trend is being changed towards this TB of vertebra and hip joint. So it is one of the valuable and most important part. Fine. Next one I told from the anatomy while so you should know about the nerve injuries and what are the management you will do for this nerve injuries. Fine. And you should also know about the types of splints which will be used for this nerve injuries and what are the types of casts or instruments you will use in a case of orthopedics. Fine. Just remember one thing that time is now. So you should make use of this PDF or this video for sure. And if you able to make use of this video, you will be able to get your pass mark and you will be able to get maximum mark from your FMG examination. Okay. I am waiting to see you with the other side with colorful colors of passing the examination. Thank you for watching the video. Bye bye.